Hello and welcome to the video walkthrough for the solution to how to solve the Find the Imposter Challenge Lab for Layer 2 Networks. So this is the Layer 2 Challenge Lab that I just gave you and in this video I'm going to show you how to solve this particular network. Let's get right into it. So the lab starts by opening up PC0 right over here. Actually nope, the lab starts by fast forwarding time. You'll see the instructions right in here. The first thing you have to do is fast forward time and again that's going to sort out any sort of spanning tree issues that uh, might exist in this very large convoluted layer 2 network. Then you're meant to jump on PC0 and send out a ping to the 1099.255 IP address. The idea here is we want traffic flowing, oops, traffic flowing through this network so that everything 1099.255 so that all the MAC address tables are populated. And if we count this out, we should see 11 responses from 11 different IP addresses. Now, all these hosts are getting their IP address via DHCP, so the addresses might not necessarily match what you have on screen, but this is how you would start the lab to make sure that all the MAC addresses for all these switches are populated. Notice I minimized that, I didn't stop it, so that should be running permanently in the background. With that said, the lab tasks themselves are to uh, find, I'll zoom in a little bit, find the uh, offending hosts that are sending malicious traffic in this particular network, starting from switch zero. So I'm gonna jump on switch zero, jump on the command line, and I'm gonna do a show MAC address table, uh, and that should show me where switch zero sees all the MAC addresses um, in this particular topology. And to start, we're gonna look for this, oops, wow. We're going to look for this first MAC address right here, the one that ends in 34DE. So I'm going to jump over here and look, look through this list until I find 34DE, which, oops, there it is right there, which I found right here. And you'll notice that switch 0 thinks that this MAC address exists out port FA01. So now what I want to do is figure out what is connected to switch 0's FA01. Now, obviously, I could enable the interface labels in Packet Tracer, but that's sort of uh, skipping a step, if you will. In a real networking environment, what you do is something like show CDP neighbor, or if this was a non-Cisco environment, you would use LLDP to figure out what exactly exists out switch zeros FA01. So out switch zeros FA01 is switch one, which tells me the next place that I'm gonna look for this particular MAC address is going to have to be uh, on switch one. So from there, I know for a fact that I'm gonna jump on switch one next. And from here, I'm actually just going to repeat the process. Jump on the command line, do a show MAC address table, uh, look for the uh, three, four, is this the one that we are looking for? Yeah, three, four DE, we'll go back in here. Uh, switch one thinks that 34DE exists out FA02. And so once again, I will jump on uh, switch one to a show CDP neighbor to see what is connected out FA02. It seems like it is switch four, which tells me that's the next place I'm gonna go as I'm working my way towards my offending host. So next I will jump on switch four right here, jump on the command line, do a show MAC address table. You'll see this will be somewhat repetitive because uh, the process is really pretty much the same. You're gonna do show MAC address table to figure out where the switch thinks that MAC address exists and then show CDP neighbor to work my way towards that target. So 3.4 DE, there, uh, there it is right there, which means that this switch, switch four, thinks that that offending MAC exists out FA05. So from here, I'll do a show CDP neighbor FA05 is another switch, switch 12. So I'll jump back into my topology, look for switch 12, uh, jump on the command line, and again, to show MAC address table, look for 34DE, which was our offending MAC address, which is right here. And that's existing out port FA07. And again, I'll do a show CDP neighbor. Now this is the interesting part is over here, I am not seeing FA07 as an interface option for my switches, which tells me this is connected to something that isn't doing CDP, isn't doing Cisco Discovery Protocol. 
Now, I don't think Packet Tracer has. Oh, it does have LLDP. So in the real world, this is what I would do next is see if I, I can see something using link layer discovery protocol, LLDP. That's the open source version, not open. Well, maybe it is open source. Uh, that's the open standard version of CDP. Uh, so potentially I have a non Cisco switch connected out at phase zero seven. Uh, but since this is Cisco packet tracer and, and obviously I know my topology, I know if I don't have a Cisco switch, then that must be the host. And from here, I can uh, simply accept that this must be the host that the, sorry, the switch port that the offending host is plugged into. So I can instantly go to uh, my interface configuration, int FA07, and shut down that port. I have now cut out the offending host from my network. And if we come down in here, go back to PC1, which I'd minimized, uh, we should see one less, oof, I'm not gonna be able to pick apart. You should actually tell you, I'll do it this way. Now, if I do my pings again, earlier we saw 11 pings. I imagine now we'll see 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. There you go. So we can confirm that we have shut out a particular uh, host from the network. Uh, and in particular, no other hosts, right? So the only host that was affected was the one that I shut down. Uh, if we come down in here, it seems that the first offending host happened to be PC8. Uh, and we can see that visually from uh, what existed over here. So we have just successfully defended our network, right? If this was our layer two network, we just defended our network from this first malicious host. To do the other two, you'd essentially go through the exact same steps. Start at switch zero, uh, start at switch zero, and then navigate your way through the network using show MAC address table and show CDP to figure out exactly where the other two offending hosts are. So that's it for the walkthrough video on the challenge lab. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to see more content like that, definitely let me know in the comments below or jump on Discord to let me know what sort of content you want to see next. Otherwise, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.